Hey guys, so I am back with a new video and this is going to be another Disney princess fashion illustration. This time it is going to be inspired by Beauty and the Beast and the character Belle. Like with any fashion illustration that I have done for the Disney princess collection, I started off by brainstorming a concept that I wanted to explore that might relate to the princess's character or personality. Like for example, for Anna, I chose something knitted because for me, she seems like a warm character, obviously in contrast with Elsa, and she's put into this cold environment. So I feel like the knit would obviously keep her warm, and at the same time, the aesthetic of the design kind of shows a bit of a quirky personality that Anna has. For Belle, however, I honestly did not have much of an idea or a concept all I kind of had was that I wanted to design um, a dress that was shaped like a bell. That was it. And in my head, at that time, it sounded kind of smart and funny. And I thought it would have been ingenious to use the play on words with the word bell. Like we all know bell with an E is beauty and then bell without an E is just a bell. However, now that I've said the words out loud, it sounds absolutely ridiculous, but I went for it anyway. And in the end, I actually found a reason as to why the bell-shaped ball gown might work for my interpretation of Belle's character. So when I think about her character, I instantly think about the very first scene of the movie where the townspeople are kind of like singing behind Belle's back about how peculiar she is because she's different and she's not like all the other pretty girls who are just fangirling over Gaston. She's quite simple and not showy in any way, which is what I like about her. But at the same time, the way that she walks, the way that she moves or talks, and even how she reads, it's so elegant. And it seemed kind of fitting for the silhouette of the dress, and I haven't really done a ball gown ever since, like, Elsa, which was the very first one that I did for this collection. I might have done, like, a floor-length dress for Mulan, but that was more like a maxi dress rather than a ball gown because it wasn't as big as the skirt or as full as the skirt that Belle has over here. And yeah, so I kind of thought a gown seems very elegant, but the shape of it. There's really nothing there other than the bodice and the skirt, which obviously creates the idea of simplicity. However, to kind of re-emphasize the whole elegant theme that I kind of had going on, I decided for the fabric choice to be brocade. This actually kind of came to me a little later on after I've done the sketching and I was on the internet kind of just searching for gold dresses because I really needed a fabric choice. And I came across this dress that was actually brocade and I thought that it was great because one, it was gold which meant that I could obviously use it as a reference image for the rendering of the illustration but also because from afar, like, as a little thumbnail, it looked like it was a normal gold dress, like nothing too fancy about it. But then up close, you see all the little details of the flowers kind of embroidered on the fabric. And I thought that that would be perfect for Belle. So like I said, simple, but elegant. Simple from afar, kind of elegant from up close. That was kind of what I was going for. And yeah, in the end, I feel like the bell-shaped ball gown, which sounded ridiculous in the very beginning, did actually end up working for my favor towards the As for the pattern, what I did was I created two main designs. One was a flower and one was like a squiggly leaf. And what I did was I just repeated them throughout the dress and that was about it. It kind of is tedious in terms of the process, but it does create a nice outcome and it also kind of gives the effect that it looks like an actual pattern rather than just, I don't know, like an abstract representation of a pattern on a dress. So if you want to kind of create a very similar style like what I did for Belle's dress, what I suggest is simplifying an object that you want to use as the pattern. 
For example, if you're going to choose a flower, I recommend one that has a small number of flower petals and that the shape of those petals are actually really easy to replicate because it's going to get tedious if you're going to do it repeatedly throughout an entire dress. Since this is a full body illustration, the details are going to be very simple. However, if I was kind of to zoom in and see the actual details of the dress, like let's say I was designing the pattern for the fabric, then of course I'm going to have to draw those details with a lot more patience. Besides, when you're kind of zooming in into a pattern, you only see like a small section of it, so it doesn't get that tedious compared to when you're creating the pattern for an entire full body dress. Overall, I actually really like the design of this illustration. However, the only thing that I'm pretty unhappy about is the way that I've rendered the entire illustration. That includes the clothing and the skin. I don't know what kind of came over me, but I ended up choosing like a color of Copic marker that has an orangey tinge to it. Like on camera, it doesn't look as bad, but in real life, it looks a lot more orange and I kind of don't like that. It just doesn't look like it's natural. So if I could have changed something, I would have changed the rendering, especially with the clothing. Brocade doesn't have like anything fancy with the way that it shines as a fabric. Like it, it's pretty normal for me anyway. So I kind of just rendered it the way that I normally would like with any type of dressy fabric. So I used some whites for the highlights and of course I used some black colored pencils for the dark areas but I also used some grays because when I was actually rendering gold, I don't exactly remember, but I have rendered gold before and I would use the dark grays to kind of, I don't know, show the dark areas of the gold to give a better kind of shine to the material but it just did not really work that well for the dress. I don't exactly know why. Maybe it's the way that I drew the creases or the folds of the skirt, or maybe it was just too dark. I'm not entirely sure what ended up being wrong for this one. And I think that's always the most horrible thing when it comes to assessing your illustrations is that when you know something looks wrong, but you can't exactly point out what it is, so that's pretty much what's happening right now, and yeah. But like I said, overall, I am pretty happy with it. I'm not going to change it because I honestly do not have the time and the energy to redo the rendering of this illustration. So I'm just going to keep it and learn to love it and maybe kind of just keep it as like a way for me to remember maybe what I did wrong and what I could change in the future. And yeah, so that's about it for this video. If you like the illustration and if you also like the video, then please do give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next one.